Hi, I'm Drew Moyer, and this is the most accurate way to determine the volume of an unknown solid. The best thing to do when working with an unknown solid is to divide it up into, sh into shapes that we know how to take the volume of. For example, let's say I'm told to find the volume of this pencil, and I know that the shaft length is 20 millimeters, the radius is 3 millimeters, and the tip height is 4 millimeters. And I want to know what the volume of that is. Well, if I look at a pencil, I can say that it's pretty much divided into two different shapes, which is a cylinder and a pyramid. Or not a pyramid, a cone, I should say. So if I can find the volume of the cylinder and the volume of the cone and add them together, that should give me the volume of the pencil. So let's start with the cylinder. The volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So all I'm going to do is plug in the values into these variables. I have volume equals pi r, which is 3, squared h, which is 20. So volume equals pi 9, 20. Volume equals 180 pi. So now I'm going to move on to the cone at the top. And I know that the volume of a cone is equal to one-third pi r squared h, which is one-third pi r, again, is 3, and h is 4, which means I have one-third pi times 9 times 4, which means that I have 12 pi. So, now that I know the volume of the cylinder and the volume of the cone, I can add them together to get the volume of the pencil, which is going to be 180 pi plus 12 pi, which equals 192 pi. And now I'll plug in 3.14 for pi to get an approximate value, and it equals 602.88, and what unit were we working in? Millimeters cubed. So, I'm Drew Moyer, and this is the most accurate way to calculate volume of an unknown solid.